Let's talk about paper making fibers. You can make paper from so many different fibers. And the easiest one is just to dig around in your recycling bin and make paper from old paper. So you know it will work because it's been made into paper before. It'll be a little weaker the second time around, but you can mix and match things to get different colors. colors. You can use plain printer paper or you can use the paper that you've already printed on and you might get a surprise of little letters showing up in your sheets. There are lots of pre-processed fibers that come in sheets. So these are sometimes called sheet pulp and specific to cotton would be cotton linters. Cellulose is the main ingredient in paper. Uh, plants that are used in other crafts like basketry or made into clothing, flax, linen, hemp. These are fibers that will work really well for paper making or cotton happens to be 95% cellulose. And that means from the plant to the sheet, you're getting almost all of the plant can be made into paper. With the hemp, it's less, but that doesn't mean that this is any less. This is 100% cellulose, but the, the fiber, um, getting the fiber off of the plant yields less fiber. So there are a couple of types of cotton. Cotton rag, so this is really strong made from rag. And then there's a first cut, which I don't have here, and a second cut. And those are just from when the cotton plant is ginned again and again. The fibers are shorter and weaker, but they're still sufficient for making paper. Hemp is a great paper making fiber. Flax is another one. Flax comes in a bunch of different um, types, but this is the sheet pulp. And then abaca is one of my favorite fibers I use a lot. It's got so many interesting qualities. It shrinks as it dries. Some of these other fibers do too, but it's also very translucent. And it comes in three types. I have two here, premium and unbleached. Now these, these are coming from, they're imported by paper making suppliers, which I've listed in the notes below this video. Um, they're coming from overseas and these suppliers import bales, huge tonnage of this fiber. And it's different each time. Sometimes unbleached abaca is more uh, brown like the hemp. This particular batch looks almost the same as the premium. The premium is the, the very center core of the fiber, the purest fiber. There's unbleached and then there's also a bleached version. All of the papers we make by hand are made from plant fibers, um, even, you know, wood pulp, that's a plant. And this is pampas grass. Um, there are so many plants in your garden that you can use. And I wrote a book called Paper Making with Garden Plants and Common Weeds, which is listed in the notes below this video. You can look up all the plants, iris leaves, gladiolus, you can use onion skins, garlic skins, lots and lots of different fibers. And they require cooking and um, a little bit of extra processing as compared to the sheet pulps. And then here are some fibers that you can purchase. Um, there are three types of Japanese fiber, uh, Gompi, Kozo, and Mitsumata. I don't have Mitsumata here, but the two, the here are two versions of Kozo. This is a Kozo from Thailand. And then this is a Kozo from the University of Iowa where they grow a crop every year and harvest it. And you can see there's a lot of green left on this bark that will have to be stripped off. That's already been done with this. So there are different things that have to happen with different types of plant materials. And these look so tough and woody. But if you know Japanese papers, you know the beautiful, thin, lustrous quality of those sheets. They're also very strong. And then here's some plant fibers in the raw stage that you can purchase from suppliers. So this is raw hemp. Um, this is really tough, has to go in a beater. Flax, same thing. All of these would have to go in a Hollander beater. Abaca, this is what the raw abaca looks like and sisal. Now these are just the ones I have on hand. There are a few more that you can purchase as well. You can make paper from rags. So any kind of 100% cotton, linen, flax, clothing can made, be made into paper. 
I don't recommend synthetics, but I have seen people do that as well. So you can cut up your old jeans. I would remove any thick parts with the stitching so everything's homogenous. I like to use a rotary cutter. You have to cut into small squares and you really can only beat rag in a Hollander beater. So if I made pulp with this, I'd get a light purple paper. This would yield a light blue. There's some printing on the fabric, so it would be interesting to see what would happen with that.